Hi travelers, Tara here, Hidden Lotus Tarot. I know that I am late um, with the monthly videos and so first I would like to thank you guys uh, very very much. I appreciate your patience. You guys know that um, you know I took a week off, was doing some other things and um, I really want to thank you for not overloading my emails asking me when the readings are coming. There have been a few snarky comments on some of the videos but that's okay. Um, I really, really appreciate that. I can't tell you how much that means to me. So thank you so much for your patience. It's very, very kind. Um, the second thing, those of you who have gotten um, Akashic Records readings from me, um, I really want to thank you very, very much for allowing me the opportunity to work with you. Um, I like reading tarot cards, but for me, Akashic Records is the bomb. I have a very, very high regard for that work. Uh, and the work speaks for itself. And what I live for in doing Akashic Records readings is when I get to hear a client go, oh my God, and then I hear that, that puzzle piece click into place. And for me, that is the payoff because I want to do something that's really going to help you so that you can help yourself to help empower yourself to make the changes that you need to make so that you can get on and walk in the divinity that you're supposed to be working in. So for those of you who have allowed me to do that, uh, I am very, very thankful for the opportunity that you trusted me to do that work with you. Uh, and I cannot really thank you enough. I get a lot of it uh, out of it as well. Uh, for those of you who are waiting, as soon as I finish getting the rest of the videos up, I'm going to be starting your Akashic Records reading, so just kind of bear with me. I appreciate your patience as well. Now, I do have specials running. They were supposed to start on the 6th, but like, hey, I don't even know what day it is. So I'm going to, it was going to be from the 6th into the 13th of July. I'm going to extend that out to the 20th, uh, $20 off the regular phone readings. Um, you can go over to the website. For those people who have been contacting me going, well, I don't know how to look at you. It's in the description box under the video. It's in the about section of the channel. It's on the channel art. And in every video, there are cards up in the right hand corner of the video that you just simply click the link and it will take you directly to the site. Okay? I do ask that if you contact me for re any type of reading, uh, that you only send me the information that I say that I need. I don't want to know that you saw another reader. I don't want to hear that. I always work from a blank slate. Um, and it serves, it would serve you to just let me do what I do the way my intuition works okay so um, that's that I got one more announcement my friend Sally Kirkman has ended her pay what you want one question astrological reading um, if you didn't get a chance to jump in on that I'm really sorry you'll have to wait till next year but you know keep checking out her site um, go back to some of my old videos a few weeks ago uh, down in the about box uh, in the description video you'll find the link to her her site and just kind of keep up with that because that's really awesome. I had mine done and it really was awesome. So with that said, I've already pre-shuffled the cards. This is going to be a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The messages will not resonate with everyone, in which case please go back and check your Moon and Rising sign videos. Um, do not please come underneath the video and ask me how I think it's going to end because there are millions of Sagittarians in the world. Uh, that's why you purchase this, why there are personal readings. I can take your information and tune in specifically to your personal energy surrounding your personal situation. All right, here we go. We're going to do a quick nine card spread. Again, this is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising for July 2016. Um, please take what messages you can from this spread and, what, and apply. And what doesn't apply, disregard it. Take what you can use. Get rid of what you can't. Okay? Nine cards down. Here we go. Sagittarius, July 2016. the star card. 
And this also rep represents Aquarius, and it also represents Venus. Well, Sagittarians, you are still in the middle of that dang Saturn return. And I know it's tough. I know it's tough. Right in the center, I have the Page of Pentacles. Now, I only have one major arcana in this spread. Three coins right down the center. Three swords. And two cups. Basically, with the one major arcana, you have, in a sense, kind of full control over this. Some of you have been presented with an opportunity. This could be a financial opportunity. Um, some of you may have had to leave some things behind because you've gotten a new job or your workload has increased. Maybe some of you don't see this as something positive, but it is. Okay, this card is not always about deception, but it can be. We're going to get into that. Um, some of you literally have had to move because I have this, the old 13th uh, century meaning of this card is a home move. I have it with here with the Six of Swords. You're moving. Your thoughts are rather, you're not quite sure what to think about that. Maybe some of you have to get out of Dodge like sneakily and not let nobody know where you were going. Um, that could be the meaning of that. Some of you may have been moving near around water, um, by water. Maybe some of you had to take a trip uh, for a job interview of some such. Okay. Um, that was around water, near water, by water. There's a lot of water in this. Um, here we have water, okay? Here we have water. Here we have water. Here we have water. Here we have water. And even in this Three of Swords, that's rain falling down from the sky. That's water. So regardless of how this is played out, there's a lot of emotions wrapped up in this. And um, perhaps... Some of you made some changes, past, present, future, past, present, future. Some of you maybe have walked away from some things um, and you walked away for whatever reason. Basically, when I see this card, this card speaks to not being satisfied, but this is on a spiritual level. Um, maybe you've come to a place during this Saturn return where you're starting to recognize that Saturn is about building foundations and structures. And a lot of times people think, well, when you build, when, they, when I say that, you know, you're, you're being tasked to build a stronger foundation. Saturn is the father of time. And so this is a slow, painful thing. And the first thing that people think, well, they meant a financial foundation, you know, to go out and work hard and work really, really, you know, and build that money and get that nest egg. And then you find out suddenly at some point that maybe that's not the foundation that you should be working on. Okay, a self-deception. You find out that all of that hard work that you're putting in really has no value to you because here you are working diligently. This guy is literally making money here on the thing. And maybe you, you're starting to find out that that is a false thing and it's not really bringing you what it is that you need. Now, look, okay, none of us sit here and lie and say money is not important because it is, okay? Now, some of you, as I said, have moved, okay? And yet there's still something new, a new opportunity coming in. Now, the pentacles can be a new job, but it can also be a new gift from the heavens. But yet for some of you, I have this three of swords here. And this three of swords is speaking to disappointments and loss and heartache. Now, I do have two threes. For some of you, you may have just discovered um, 
that someone has um, betrayed you in some way, has lied to you, has been deceiving you in some manner. Okay. Because there's been someone hidden all along. Maybe you guys broke up and then you got, you've been work, tried to work on it and you got back together. Maybe you even moved back in with the person or the person moved back in with you. You're like, oh, wow, this is going to be a brand new start. But hey, either, either you find out that that sad relationship that they were having is still going on or you find out after you get back together, you know what? I can't trust this person anymore or, you know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing and why the hell is this? What is this? I don't understand. I have this Ten of Cups and this speaks to extreme emotional contentment. You have the man, the woman, you know, the kids, the, the verdant green fields that speak to uh, being able to have plenty. There's water there. There's a house in the background. And maybe some of you have been considering joining forces with someone. But the Seven of Swords is telling me that this card, this can sometimes be an illusion. And you can assume uh, from the surface or maybe even in your relationship yourself for people on the outside who are not on the inside, people who are viewing it from the outside, this is a facade. It's not real. It's not true. And maybe for some of you, you're starting to understand that. you know. And so you have to decide what is it worth to you. Now, I see that some of you have probably been throwing yourselves into your work. That way you don't have to deal with it. And some of you have decided, well, you know what? This is really worth it to me, so I'm going to continue to try to work on it. Maybe we can come to some type of agreement. Um, but at the same time, just the imagery of this card says that one person really holds the key to that. And this could literally be either... Uh, one woman and two men. Somebody having a, the woman having a, a, a secret affair with someone. It could be one man and two women. Okay. Um, because this whole row right here <laughs> is not a pretty row. Because the moon speaks to illusions. It speaks to deceptions. Um, this is also uh, the card of Neptune. The moon is ruled by Neptune. So this is maybe somebody who has been able to completely pull the wool over your eyes. But nevertheless, um, I think you have, some of you may have been getting those inklings about that. And maybe you chose to ignore it and look in the other direction. You've been doing that by doing a lot of busy work. So you don't have to think about it. You don't have to feel whatever it is you're trying to feel. You're trying to ignore. I don't like the fact that I have these three cards sitting with this one. This Eight of Cups mirrors this Ten of Cups. The Seven of Swords mirrors the Ten of Swords. It also, the Ten of Cups also mirrors the, the Moon card. I don't like the way that looks. So I think a lot of you during this Saturn return have, are coming to realize that the quote unquote foundation that you have been working on or that you thought was in place is not as solid and as firm as you thought it was. Okay. Now, interestingly, I have the card of the star and the star says for one thing to that this is um, situations brought about because the stars have said so. In other words, uh, the heavens have been moving things around through all of these different planetary transits in order to bring about the culmination of a situation. So we're getting ready to go into eclipse season in September. So typically you start seeing triangle things, com things coming up again, three people in a situation. That's always what eclipses speak about. So, and I do have two moon cards here. This is an eclipsed moon, but it also represents a full moon. And this is the moon itself. And what that tells me is that there is no clarity really around this situation. And you're kind of struggling to get some kind of clarity. Well, the star card comes in to say, eventually you're going to get that clarity. You need to maintain hope and faith. And it's going to take a little while. You're going through that Saturn return. And Saturn is the father of time. you know, And he's not here to tell you no. He's here to tell you not yet. All right? Because you still have some work that you got to do. But this card also represents Venus. 
and Venus is all about the love, the beauty, the money, the income, and it is about self-love. Okay? And so I think if some of you Sagittarians are finding yourself in this situation, the foundation you should be working on is the one of being self-empowered and loving yourself. However that means for you. And if you look at the imagery, that woman's comfortable because she's naked. So she's comfortable with herself. And she's able to maintain the balance between her emotions and her logic. And as you can see, this is continually, she's filling the cup from one, from the filling the jug from the earth, and she's pouring the water from the from the pool, and she's pouring the water. So this is someone who's able to continuously um, keep their own cup filled. And you have to do that. Otherwise, you got nothing else to give to somebody else. So if someone's been draining your cups, be this in a financial sense, if they have taken from you in an emotional sense, um, if you know they're working your nerves and turning your hair gray, that's through your own choice that you're allowing them to do that. Easier said than done, I know. I'm going to take a look at this Eight of Cups and this Moon card um, and see what they tell me. Some of you may have had to move to leave your families behind, okay? It is a relationship situation. The Prigione being stuck. The Gran Signore, the King of Hearts. And the Dona de Ser I'm sorry, the, uh, yeah, Dona de Servicio, the female servant. And she's a positive card, and she always comes in to help. So it literally says to me that some of you have been stuck in a situation with, with um, a male. If this is heterosexual, if this is the same sex and the person who takes on the role of the male, you've been stuck in that situation, and perhaps you are seeking help. You're going in search of help, or you're looking all over trying to find help. You're working on it, okay? Three very, very positive cards on the moon. In which case now I'm going to take some cards on this Seven of Swords. The card that I have is the letter, the Fedelta. This is someone that you know and that you trust. And then I have the Superbia. Now, I could say with these three cards, and they're all pretty positive, the letter is kind of a neutral kind of card, but if I'm going to look at the positive context of this, the superbia means a success. However, falling on the moon card, things hidden, things not revealed, things unseen, this is you're going to get some kind of news or indication that someone that you've trusted for a long time, they're going to finally show you your true color, their true colors. That's what that says. The true colors. They could be arrogance, vanity, haughtiness, uh, someone who thinks their shit doesn't stink. Okay? You're going to get that, and it's going to be brought about through the astrology, through the astros, the cosmos. So pay attention with these retrograde phases of what's going on. Um, let me take a quick look at this Seven of Swords. Deception and false intentions. The Giovanni Fanchula. I do have the two threes. Maybe this is about you're going to find out. If you don't know, there will be some news or some indications coming in that there very well is a third party in the situation. Maybe some of you already know it. And look, the sadness and the depression, the melancholia. Okay? Um... That's what I have for you, Sagittarians. Um, and I hate to bring on the news when you've already got that Saturn return going on. But uh, rest assured that there is still something to hope for and look forward to. But you're going to have to find it within yourself. Um, I do hope those messages helped. Until next time, namaste.